Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Floris Expanded. Now, since we last saw each other, I have been rather struggling right here. Now, as you can see, our garrison has been filled with the units that we gained from recruiting troops from this particular option there. And now... What I've done is I've recruited a few of those into my actual party to make it a little bit stronger than it was previously. Now, the other problem I've been having over the past... Let me just check the date for a second here. After I level up a few of these... Oh, yes, I have actually gone down to Saranid territory and taken one of your advice and gotten some Saranid infantry. And we'll see how they do in some combat. Yes, yes, because I believe they have a very, very good power throw skill and power strike skill. So I'm very happy with that indeed. And yes, as I was saying... The other problem I was having was actually wages, because if you take a look here, I have less money than the weekly cost. But fortunately, my treasury has now been instated, and hopefully by the time next week's wages come around, I will have enough from the tariffs and rents from Uxkarl, and hopefully it will have enough of a garrison to be able to defend itself, potentially, because obviously, let's just take a look here again, recruit some troops, yes. Oh, Oh, I see. Okay, so we can't actually recruit any more, so I have actually done the full amount. And as you can see, we've gotten some very good units indeed, but very little. So that is quite annoying, to say the least. But hopefully we'll be able to take Praven this episode, and we will be attempting to do so right now. I scouted it, as you can see, by my footprints just a little bit earlier. And... There were only 298, I believe, which is not that much at all. Now, hopefully... Oh, no, this guy saw me. He knows we're going there. Oh, no. Should we intercept him? I think we should probably intercept him because he's going to enter there no problem at all. So let's go. Okay. They know me as Byron. Yes, they do. Okay, so... Let's do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Another piece of news that has actually occurred... The Rodok Republic has actually declared war against the Kingdom of Swadia and the Swadian rebels. So, yes. Talk about stepping in the middle of a civil war, why don't you? Yeah, that's great. Okay, so now, a few of you stated that you'd like to see me plan a battle with the enemy. So, yeah, I am pretty terrible with this. So, I think we'll just go for everyone. And now, let's see. We want them to go. We want them to hold position, don't we? And then we want them to go forward 10? I want them to go forward a lot f further than that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes, repeat, I think, maybe twice. And then stand closer. I think we want the infantry to stand closer, don't we? There. Infantry stand closer. And we probably want them to go ahead a little bit further than the archers, actually, don't we? So let's remove one of... Oh, no, wait, no, no. Oh, my goodness. You can tell I never use this system at all. Okay, so remove the infantry and then make it repeat only once for the archers, hopefully. Now, we want the cavalry to head off in a different direction, but I think I can do that manually on the actual battlefield itself. And we probably want the archers to spread out. No, I don't know what we want the archers to do, really. I think spread out, maybe. No, I think we'll just leave them as it is. Yeah, I think that will be okay. And now we want them to go for a shield wall. I think a shield wall formation would probably be quite good. So let's go for a shield wall. And can we do anything with the archers? I don't know. Ranks, maybe? I don't know about that. We'll have to try it out. Maybe ranks? Yeah, let's go for ranks just to try it. I don't really know what it does, but we'll see. Okay, so now... Is that it? That's pretty cool. Okay, what about turn to weapon orders? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh yes, yes. Another one of you actually suggested that I set my archers to hold fire. And then... Let's see... No, I think that is fine. Yes, so they will hold fire until the enemy is in range. And then they will go... 
absolutely amazing on them. Yes, we'll do that. Okay, so now... Oh my... Okay, so this is the positioning. Okay, that's cool. So, prepare orders. Okay. And then, dispatch orders. Oh my goodness. Okay, did we do it? Yay! <laughs> okay, hopefully it will actually work this time. Enough planning to battle. Let's do it, yes. Okay, so here we go. Come on, guys. Are they are they going ahead? Ooh, they might be. They're actually doing it. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, this is cool. I probably should have done a little bit more complex actions with it. As you can see, they are pretty much just stopping there. The cavalry did not seem to move at all, so maybe I messed up a little bit there. But yeah, it was my first time using it, really. So, yeah, that's not too bad, I'd say. Okay, so seeing as we're going to set them up now, I would like to get the infantry at the bottom of this hill. Or should I? Because the enemy doesn't seem to be moving. We have a lot of infantry, oh my goodness. I did not know we had this many. Okay, well, we have a suitable amount of archers, at least. Okay, let's just take a look at the battle map once again, once I move these archers. Aha. Okay, so they're not moving forward whatsoever. That is disappointing. I was hoping that we'd be able to have this really nice tactic that I used to use, but I gave up using because the enemy would never move towards us. Such a shame. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and scout a little bit on our amazing-looking horse. Oh, yes. Now, let's just see what they're up to. Oh, okay. So, this isn't actually too bad. We can send our archers over here right now, and our infantry in turn, and then maybe get our cavalry over here as well and put them off to the side. Oh, I don't really like fighting on hills. I would like to go down there and charge them, but many of you have stated that that's not a good idea, so yes. I think I will attempt to take a different tact with this particular engagement. I mean, they do only have 99, so it is not exactly the greatest force we've ever faced. But perhaps this is the best time to actually try out new strategies. So, let's see now. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, we do have some mounted Kurgit units, which is absolutely amazing to see them firing already. That is great. Okay, so some of our infantry actually have bows. Okay, that must be the Saranids. Oh no, Forest Bandits! Okay, they are actually classified as infantry. Interesting. Okay, so let's move these guys down here. Let's move these archers here. And now we want the archers to actually fire, don't we? So, yes, fire at will. There we are. Good. Fire! Fire at them, yes. Okay. And how are our cavalry doing? Not too bad. Yes, I don't think this is actually working out too well because of my placement. Oh my goodness. Yes, as you can tell, my infantry placement is absolutely terrible. Let's move them a little bit further ahead. And then we'll get our archers over to the right a bit as well. That might help us. Although they are blocking most of our fire, which is unfortunate. Let's put our cavalry on the hill over here. What? No, thank you. Okay. There we are. The flag was flying <laughs> in midair there. Okay, so I can only use one shot with my siege crossbow from this distance. So I think I'll save it, just in case. And now, I think we may just want to go in here, because they have more bowmen than we have. So, yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go. Hold this position and attack enemy archer division. Yeah, do that. Good work. <laughs> okay, so I'm not telling them to charge in. Instead, I'm telling them to hold position near the enemy so that they can keep their shields up and so forth. And I believe we will head our cavalry over here and attack them from the side. Send our archers in. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now our cavalry can go in from the side right here and potentially do a lot of damage, maybe? We can only hope. Let's watch and see what happens. Okay, not too bad, although... <laughs> yes, yes. It, it was pretty pathetic, wasn't it? But I suppose we did really run them over a little bit. So... I suppose I can't really expect that much, because we do outnumber them, I believe. Yes. Okay, well, that's not too bad for a first attempt, I suppose. I did actually used to use... Oh, 
Infantry returning after destroying enemy archer division. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, but as I was saying, I did actually used to use tactics in the Pendor series, I believe. But as I said before, I did actually sort of give up using it because the enemy would either always charge us immediately or they would just hold position and wait for us to go to them. It kind of defeats the purpose a little bit, unfortunately, but it seems as though it is working rather nicely with our current setup by the looks of things. And I've just told our infantry to charge now because we want them to hunt down any stragglers there are. And I believe that is actually it. We have attained victory that easily, so perhaps that was the tactics or perhaps that was just the fact that we have higher tier units than they do. Who knows? I will hopefully attempt to find tougher opponents so we can try it out against them. And he escaped. How unfortunate. Okay, well, at least we can take a lot of very valuable units prisoner. I think I can actually take them all, so why am I even bothering to choose? Yeah, I can actually take them all. Nice. Oh, well, at least one. Okay, that's great. Now, let's take these and these. Very nice. Okay, so, how many did we lose in that battle? Not many. I think six were wounded or at least killed. Some forest bandits were. Now, the only problem with this is that I don't think Jacobites become cavalry, do they? Let's take a look here. Kingdom of Swadia. Jacobites, where are they? Jacobites, Jacobites. Uh, ah, they do become cavalry, but only level 5 cavalry. I would prefer to have these along here as they become level 7. Hmm. Well, it might be nice change to have a few cavalry. I mean, I have been leveling up quite a few archers as it is, so let's go for a Jacobite for now. And... Ooh, Slave Hunter. It's nearly going to be a Slave Crusher, I believe. Yes, look at that. We have four of them on the way to being Slave Crushers. That is going to be amazing. Okay. So, we have a full prisoner party, how unfortunate. Okay, well, on to Braven. And as you can see, only three vassals there. Wow, they are getting pounded by the looks of things. So, I believe we are going to go in. But before that, I'm going to save, just in case. You never know what can happen. And let us besiege it. And I'm so thankful that they actually have ladders here. And we still don't have an Engineer Companion, which I have still neglected to actually try and find, and that is King Harlaus, I believe. 344 units in his army. Please don't attack me. <laughs> yes, oh no, he's probably going to attack exactly the same as he did before, and attack us after we actually take it and lose a bunch of our units in the process. So, do we actually want to plan our battle with the enemy in this case? Because I usually do it manually with this particular siege. So, yeah, I think we will lead our soldiers in an assault, and I will do it manually as best I can. Because as you can see, they pretty much just need to walk up here, holding their shields up, like so, and then I will place the archers in the front, like many of you have suggested in the past, which I believe is the correct course of action. You'll probably take out quite a few enemies, I hope. I'm hoping I actually have a rather large amount of archers, anyway. Okay, I have a few. Okay, and I just got shot. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Well, not too bad. Let's follow our Nord compatriots. And go up here. And hopefully slay a bunch of Swadians. Yes. Oh my. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness, yes, let me get up here. Thank you very much. Let's slay these archers. Take them down. Oh my goodness, I am no good with this sword. Okay, overhead. Overhead attacks. There we go. That's much better. Okay, it seems the overhead attack is my style of choice at the moment. And what are these guys doing? Skirmishing on the staircase. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. I'm getting shot from those guys down there. That is so irritating, I have to say. And what am I actually getting taken damage by? No. Oh, those guys up there. That's why. Oh, my goodness. This is why this is difficult to take. Okay. 
Come on, we must do this. Once we take this, the Swedian Empire has no choice but to reinstate Lady Asola as their rightful ruler. Yes. Let's hope, anyway. Obviously, I've never done the claimant quest before. We actually had a battalion of our infantry rush the enemy archers. Wow, okay. I didn't even tell them to do that. That's great. <laughs> I like that. I wish you could actually split them up into squads. That would be really cool. I suppose you can do it with tags and so forth, but the tags don't really allow you to split up units of the same type. So all of your Nord Huskals or whatever unit you want to use will be assigned to that particular task and you may want some of them to be assigned to a different area of the siege so that's something to consider perhaps maybe for Mountain Blade 2 who knows I would think they would come up with some really really nice complex formations and so forth with that particular iteration of Mountain Blade And oh my goodness, there's a lot of archers over there. We do not want to go over there, do we, guys? Apparently that's Wadian does. Oh my goodness, okay. Run! I need a shield. Okay, here we go. Yes, there we are. That's better. Okay, I think I may go downstairs and perhaps help our infantry a little bit. Okay, here they are. Hello. Oh my. We're not doing well, are we? Are we? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, take him down. Slash him as best you can, Byron. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, 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 yeah. This is not going in our favor, I believe. Oh, I really hate these guys shooting me in the back. Oh, my goodness. That's how everyone must feel when they get shot by Nordor and Pendor. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, let's take a plain heater shield. Yes. That one was breaking. Okay, so let's approach these archers and take them down. Or at least try to. Oh, if I get taken out by a peasant, that would be so embarrassing. Okay, there we are. We took them down, and it seems a couple of our infantry have taken it upon themselves to rush their archers, thankfully. So, I believe that is actually it. We have... Successfully captured Praven once again. This is our second time actually taking this. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so eight renown. Uh, really? Only eight renown? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, spare it. <laughs> I need all the renown I can get. Okay, so let's see here. I actually want to take everyone by the looks of things. And this is what I mean about having a button right to the side saying, I want to recruit all of these. And then you just click it and then you get all of them in your company that would be great instead of having to click this many times oh yes okay so let's see yes peasant women thank you very much and I can't actually take any prisoners but I do have some very nice high quality prisoners already so that should be okay and we get lordly male gauntlets as a bonus item which are actually better than what I'm wearing so let's do that yes plus 11 plus 10 Okay, so this is my new armor. I believe you guys asked me about this, unless it's another series and I'm getting it mixed up, because I do that quite a lot, so I do apologize. <laughs> but yes, that's my new armor, and this is my shield. Very nice, indeed. I have some lordly male hose. I'm pretty sure you can get a better set of boots, but there we are. That's my sword, and I'm using a siege crossbow, because why not? That is absolutely amazing. It does a hell of a lot of damage. And there we are. Very nice. Okay, so I actually want to have Praven for myself because I want to be able to have a lot of cash. Because, as you can see, I am actually struggling to gain cash now. So, let us have it for ourselves. Yes, thank you very much, lady. Okay, so let's split it equally. And we have 6,600 dinars added to the treasury. Very nice indeed. 
Now, there is King Harlaus. He is probably going to come in here any second, so we have to make sure that our setup is correct. But before we do that, I will end this episode off here, and next time on Floris Expanded, we will hopefully be able to retain Praven for ourselves and potentially defeat King Harlaus in a battle. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you.